Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this new and improved 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery with built in Bluetooth from Go Kilowatt Hour. So, this thing comes packed pretty well in this box. I got the M8 studs here, batteries in here. So, this thing, okay, I'm going to have to pull this thing out on the ground so I'll be back in a sec okay so I got this pulled out of the box and it's still in there really tight Let's see if I can get this thing out packed very well it's, I think I could drop this thing and it wouldn't hurt it at all Okay, so this battery, as you can see here, comes with a strap that's easily removable. The uh, positive is marked with red and a plus symbol, easily, easily, easily distinguished between positive and negative. Uh, it's actually a quite attractive battery, not, to, not that you buy batteries for attractiveness. I like the color scheme. So this um, <clears throat> QR codes here, this is battery specific information and this is to download the mobile app that I'll be reviewing in a minute for the built-in Bluetooth. As you can see, it's a 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour, 1280 watt hour lithium ion phosphate battery. So as I showed earlier, it came with these M8 terminal studs here. That's 5 sixteenths, I think. And um, it mentions on the website that it's supposed to come with these little protective caps that go over the studs once you install them. And it's supposed to come with the owner's manual. Well, those studs, I'm sorry, the caps and the owner's manual was not in the box. So it may be because they just improved this battery and shipped it out for reviews, but it, it doesn't really matter because I was able to download the um, owner's manual and print it myself. And of course you don't have to print it, you can just view it online, but um, so you can always get that if you need to. I'll show some specifications here on the screen if you wanted to pause the video, let's take a look. So I'll just mention there's a couple of other versions of this battery that Go Kilowatt makes, Kilowatt Hour makes. Uh, there's one that has a little LCD display that shows the voltage and then just kind of a guess at the state of charge, which is, as we all know probably by now, that those, those that just guess at the state of charge on lithium iron phosphate batteries based on the voltage, it's not very accurate. But they actually make one that's a little more expensive than this one that comes with a display that right here that actually shows information from the BMS and that's accurate information right from the BMS so uh, that's another option. So the first thing I'm going to do here is check the voltage on this battery as it was shipped. Uh, the shipping voltage is supposed to be between 13.1 and 13.2 it is 13.15 so that's perfect. The manual says that this that these can be put in parallel and series configuration. Uh, it can be either 4S or 4 ser in series or 4 in parallel. But it does not mention that you can combine those. I think it's just one or the other. You, you can't combine 4 series and then 4 of those in parallel. It's just 4 of these in parallel or 4 of these in series. So earlier I mentioned this was new and improved. So I had seen some videos, uh, reviews on this battery, and they weren't so good because most, the biggest reason was that little display that shows just the uh, voltage and then the, the guess at the state of charge. And then the, the biggest thing was the internal, internal inside this battery, they used packing foam, such as this, instead of high density foam to pack the battery. And it was kind of loose in there and not real good. So uh, they sent me an email saying that before they sent the battery, they've repl they've reviewed those, those videos and they've improved the battery, and they've now used high density foam in here. And uh, I can shake it, and it seems real solid. I'm gonna take this off. I don't know if you can see this, but they have these little indents, these little like uh, plugs put in here, so you can actually take these out and take this top off and look inside. And I'm gonna do that just to show you. Um, it, well, hopefully they have replaced the foam like they said they did. I was able to get these screws out and we'll open this up here and we can see that they did replace that packing foam with this high density foam so that's good and it's in there really good now 
all these wires are tight. Nothing's loose. Let's see if I can get a little bit better view down in there. Uh, there's two little white wires down in there. I'm not really sure what those are. It wouldn't surprise me. This says low temperature protection, but they don't state that in the manual. There's some QR code on the BMS. So that's really all I'm going to do with this battery. I haven't decided yet on this channel if I'm going to, you know, break open all batteries, but this one, since it came with screws, I took it apart. Now, I wouldn't do this if I was you if you bought buy it because it'll probably avoid the warranty and probably affect the IP65 waterproof rating this battery has. So I've got my battery charger here all plugged in and ready to charge. But I first wanted to show you the uh, the mobile app and I'll hook up a charger and show you it charging, but to download the mobile app, there's a QR code here. Now, for whatever reason, that QR code did not work for me. It, the link said uh, it couldn't open. Maybe it's down or something temporarily. But I was able to get the QR code from the owner's manual and download the app that way. So may, for whatever reason, there's a different QR code here than there is in the manual. So let me pull up the mobile app here. Uh, I believe it's pronounced uh, Xingzhou, Xingzhang. Anyway, let's open it up here and you can create an account and sign in or you can just click the jump login button to uh, bypass signing up. And I've already linked it. And if we click the, click the app here, I mean click the device, uh, we see it's got a state of charge of 50%. Uh, charging is turned, not, it's not currently charging, meaning you can charge, it's turned on. It's got some uh, good information in here, and down at the bottom, as you can see, it actually has all, there's four cells in there, and they're all at 3.3 volts right now. So let's hook up, let's hook up the charger, and let's see what kind of information it shows in the app. Okay, it's charging now. And I see estimated charge time is 2 hours and 42 minutes. Uh, you can see the cells are being charged. They've changed slightly from each other. So let's let this fully charge up, and I'll be back in a little bit. So we're fully charged now, and I have my battery test capacity tester ready to go. And I first thought we'd take a quick look at the mobile app here. So we are showing 100% state of charge, and it's showing remaining capacity is 99.94 amp hours. Hopefully we'll be able to get 100 out of this. Um, this battery capacity tester will only go up to like 180, 175 um, watts, uh, so I won't be able to get a 0.2C uh, discharge out of it. But and so it might not quite hit 100 amp hours because of that. But we'll we'll see. Uh, scroll down here in the bottom of the uh, mobile app, and you'll see that the cells are slightly different. Uh, they're almost the same. They were more out of whack uh, last night, uh, shortly after charging. So now we're all back in in uh, good shape here. So let's uh, get the capacity test going and we will come back whenever it's done. Okay, so the capacity test is finished and let's see what we got. We got 105.54 amp hours and that took 11 hours and 23 minutes. And I did bump it up to 9 amps at one point. I'm not really sure why it shows 1,778 watt hours. Uh, maybe I didn't reset that, but we did get over capacity. That's nice. Okay, now I'm going to do a max load capacity test. So the BMS on this battery says it is a 100 amp BMS, so you could should be able to safely discharge this battery at 100 amps. I'm going to do that for five minutes and then test to see if anything gets hot or anything like that. So this is my DIY, one of the first DIY solar generators I built. Um, these wires here are all disconnected right now. They're, the the, switch, the um, breakers are off and everything, so there's no, none of these are live that's exposed here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a timer and go for five minutes, and we'll be able to monitor the um, amps that we're drawing right here. And I'm going to try to do that and keep it as close as possible to 100 amps using the space heater and the heat gun. So let's zoom in here and I will see if I can get this started. We're up to 
79 amps roughly. Let me take gun. 99, 100. Okay, let me try to, let's hit the timer. And we'll try to hold this for five minutes. All right, we made five minutes, no problem. Let's check the battery, make sure it's not hot. Wires aren't hot. It's not hot around the terminals. Battery's actually cold. There's nothing even slightly warm about it. So the DIY solar generator I used to do the max capacity test with, I'll put a link to that in the description if you're interested in watching that video. So this seems to be a good little battery. I'm not an expert on batteries by any means, but I believe I, I, believe I put it through the proper testing and uh, looked inside. It seemed to be as much better than it was previously when they were using the packing foam instead of the high density foam. Feels real solid and nothing was loose. Uh, it's over capacity, it went up to 105 amp hours. Uh, it didn't get hot when I, when I maxed it out at just a little over 100 amps for five minutes. Um, so it seems like a good little battery and it comes with Bluetooth. So with bluetooth this is an excellent value right now with the code that i have below which is for a very limited time by the way it's only like maybe maybe four more weeks um, from the time i release this video you can get this battery for 259 with that code uh, that comes out to like 20 cents a watt hour something like that i think that's an excellent excellent value so i hope you found this video helpful if you did, please hit that like button. Uh, I've already published a variety of videos you may find interesting. You can go take a look at them. Uh, I have many more coming up soon. Make more cables. I'm going to add some door security to my doors. I want to do more solar stuff, more product reviews. If anything like that sounds interesting to you, please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.